What do Steve McQueen, Mad Max, Delta Force, and the Ukrainian army have in common? Well, for all the high-tech weapons that Ukraine has gotten from the US and Europe, one of the most effective battlefield surprises has been these. Homemade dune buggies, outfitted for war. Rugged, lightweight, and agile, the buggies are used to sniff out Russian positions, swarm Russian tank columns, and evacuate wounded troops. Many of the buggies are made by this man, Volodymyr Sadik, a metal worker from western Ukraine. Before the war, his specialty was making gates. But in his spare time, he and his friends built dune buggies as a hobby. When Russia invaded last February, Sadik had an idea. He offered some of the buggies to the Ukrainian army. The feedback was immediate. They wanted more. The rugged bantamweight buggies are perfect for Ukraine's rolling terrain, which often gets too muddy for other support vehicles. The first buggies, like Steve McQueen's famous Myers Manx, were built in the early 1960s as no-frills thrill machines, beloved by everyone from beach bums to Elvis. But their agility and speed attracted military attention too. Since the 1980s, the US Army has used buggy-style attack vehicles of its own, deploying them in Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan. To date, Sadik's company, Vols, has built and delivered almost 60 buggies to the Army. Sadik and his crew of seven men rely heavily on crowdfunding to source parts and materials and to pay his team's small salaries. Sadik says only a handful of his buggies have been destroyed in the war, but repairing damaged ones is part of the business as well. Хлопці евакуйовували і на скорості 100-110 км в час він перелетів щось от таке, пішов кубарем. І просто відірвало типу колесо, пацан цілий. Ну там якісь таке у шиби, садини. То вони нам відправляли машину, і ми повністю її зробили і опять відправили назад. Sadik sells his buggies to the armed forces for between $6,000 and $10,000 a piece, depending on how they're kitted out. He says he doesn't make much money on them, but profit isn't what he's after. Вот мінімум тільки для того, щоб от тип, ну, чим побільше їх зробити, успіти зараз, коли їх треба просто, ну, чим побільше. For G0 Media, I'm Alex Clement. <laughs>